Distracted driving has become a major public safety issue in the media and within traffic safety organizations worldwide. Fleet managers in government agencies, motor carriers, schools, and other large fleets have implemented policies or practices governing distracted driving and are using tools like this video to raise awareness of this significant safety problem. Distracted driving is one of the most significant contributing factors to traffic crashes today. Some studies indicate approximately 20% of crashes are caused by distracted driving. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, distracted driving resulted in nearly 6,000 deaths and more than a half a million injuries in 2008. Another U.S. DOT report indicates that in 2009, over 5,400 deaths were related to distractions, or 16% of all fatalities. Because distracted driving plays such a significant role in overall traffic safety, it has become the number one safety priority for the United States Department of Transportation and other federal transportation agencies. According to the Governor's Highway Safety Association 2010 report entitled Curbing Distracted Driving, fatalities due to distractions increased over 20% from 2004 to 2008. While reports vary and research continues, distracted driving clearly is a significant risk and should be considered dangerous behavior. Crashes caused by distracted driving can be as critical and devastating as crashes due to impaired driving or other dangerous driving behavior. These crash pictures show the devastation caused by drivers that allowed themselves to be distracted. No one is immune car drivers, truck and bus drivers, even police officers can become distracted and kill or injure themselves or others. These senseless crashes and deaths can be stopped by changing driver behavior, respecting the importance of the driving task, and by adopting a proper safety mindset. The goal of this video is to explore the challenges of distracted driving and how distractions cause unsafe driving and crashes. We'll discuss key ways to avoid distractions with solutions that can be incorporated into company and agency policies governing vehicle operations. Safe operation of commercial and passenger vehicles can occur in a world saturated by cell phones and other communications and electronic devices, but only through competent, constant management of these devices and the distractions they create. While traffic safety organizations and government agencies continue to conduct research and opinions vary on the results of these studies, one research report has demonstrated which specific distractions and behaviors are the riskiest. The Virginia Tech Transportation Institute, or VTTI, published the results of a large-scale naturalistic driving study that utilized sophisticated cameras and instrumentation in the passenger compartments of large trucks and commercial passenger vehicles to document actual driver behavior. The results indicated that by far the most dangerous distraction observed was texting. The VTTI study revealed that truck drivers who text while driving have 23 times the risk of being involved in a crash or near crash event. Other behaviors that proved extremely risky were dialing cell phones and reaching for a portable electronic communications device. It's important to note that the VTTI study used real drivers in actual driving situations. Other published research has depended on driving simulators or driver surveys may not be as accurate. The VTTI study proved that the best and safest driving practice is to keep your eyes on the road ahead. Any distraction that removes a driver's focus from the driving task is dangerous. The VTTI study tells us what not to do. Now let's discuss what distracted driving is and why the behaviors observed by VTTI researchers are so dangerous. Let's define exactly what is meant by the term distracted driving. 
It has been defined differently by various experts and organizations, but some common facts are known. The three types of distractions that all drivers experience are visual distractions, manual distractions, and cognitive distractions. A visual distraction involves a task that requires the driver to look away from the road and view something unrelated to driving. Looking at a passenger, electronic device, or scenery outside a window is a visual distraction. Even looking at devices inside the passenger compartment, like glancing at the radio to find a new music station, is a visual distraction. For example, advertisers find increasingly clever ways to draw our attention to ideas or products, but glancing away from the road to read words or look at a picture can compromise safety. Keep your focus on the road in the driving task. Constantly monitoring driving conditions is crucial to safety. Commercial drivers need to perform scanning tasks as part of daily driving activities. These scans of the road and mirrors should be conducted once every five to seven seconds and caution should be exercised when doing so to ensure the road ahead is not neglected. Short glances at vehicle instrumentation, mirrors, installed communication devices, or other technology can be done safely if they're limited to less than one second and are related to the driving task. Any glance away from the road for more than one second is extremely dangerous. At 55 miles per hour, a three-second glance at a cell phone, messaging device, or music device will result in the vehicle moving nearly 250 feet down the road. This is almost the length of a football field of travel without scanning for traffic or other hazards. Keep glances away from the road to one second or less. This will greatly improve your safety and reduce the risk of events more than one second ahead resulting in a crash or near crash event. Cleaning a side mirror while driving increases the likelihood of being in a crash or near crash event by 10 times. Simply take care of the cleanliness of your mirrors during your pre-trip inspection or roadside stop to avoid this risk. This and similar visual distractions are simple to avoid with the proper safety mindset and focus. A manual distraction requires the driver to remove one or both of their hands from the steering wheel or other driving control to manipulate a device. Drivers can experience many common manual distractions while they're on the road. And these distractions should be managed appropriately. Even the simplest of tasks can create a manual distraction and result in tragedy. A January 2009 fatal tour bus accident in Arizona was attributed to manual distraction. The 29-passenger bus was northbound on US-93 on a return trip to Las Vegas from the Grand Canyon. The National Transportation Safety Board determined that the driver was distracted by his manipulation of the driver's side door as he was traveling about 70 miles per hour. As the driver attended to the door, he lost control and the bus overturned. Seven passengers were killed and nine passengers and the driver sustained injuries. This crash did not have to happen. Adjusting your mirrors or the lighting of the instrument panel are manual distractions. This type of activity increases your risk of a crash or near crash event by 25%. Take care of these adjustments before beginning your run or during a roadside stop. In passenger cars, adjusting mirrors may only take a one second glance and can be performed safely. Eating, grooming, or reaching for a two-way radio or other object are all manual distractions. These actions are distracting both visually and manually, and drivers who engage in these behaviors while they're operating a commercial vehicle are up to three times as likely to be involved in a crash or near crash event. All are unnecessary and unsafe actions unless they're performed when the vehicle is off the road and parked. Install your radio mic in a position where you can reach for it without having to glance away from the road. This will allow you to return your hand to the steering wheel quickly to reduce this distraction. Dialing a cell phone is a common manual distraction and is very dangerous. Manually entering a phone number on a cell phone means you're six times more likely to be involved in a crash or near crash event. This activity has been the principal focus of public education campaigns, USDOT regulations, and laws enacted in several states. According to a survey conducted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 77% of drivers reported talking on a cell phone while driving. 
utilizing a voice-activated cell phone for dialing, or better, waiting to handle calls when your trip is finished are the safest methods. Even cell phone companies recommend letting calls go to voicemail when driving. This issue is important since cell phone use worldwide has reached the highest level in history. Our transportation world is saturated with portable electronic communications devices that perform functions ranging from phone calls to email to various internet applications to maintaining our calendars. According to the cell phone industry group CTIA, the Wireless Association, about 91% of Americans have a cell phone. Cell phone conversations and dialing without hands-free devices and voice-activated calling is a combination of a visual and a manual distraction, not just a manual distraction, and actually includes the third type, cognitive. Cognitive distraction is perhaps the most difficult type of distraction to define, as well as to eliminate. In the context of operating a motor vehicle, to be cognitive, means to be fully aware of the vehicle, its speed and other operational characteristics, as well as the relationship of the vehicle to the roadway environment. In addition, the driver also needs to be fully alert to changing traffic signals, warning lights and signs, potential hazards along the roadside, and a host of other external factors that could affect the vehicle's safe operation. When a driver is operating a commercial vehicle, the primary task, while talking on a handheld or hands-free cell phone, the secondary task, the driver's brain has to switch between primary and secondary tasks over and over again. Remember, nearly all distractions involve combinations of two or all three types of distractions. Rarely is a distraction just one type. All distractions can be dangerous and must be managed to operate safely. Now that we've defined the distracted driving problem in detail and depicted the damage, injury, and death it can cause, what are some solutions? The key to saving lives and reducing or eliminating needless injuries and deaths caused by distracted driving is changing driver behavior. Most jurisdictions consider all vehicles operated by impaired or reckless drivers to be deadly weapons. Distracted driving can create safety risks as dangerous as those resulting from impaired or reckless driving. Every driver should keep this fact in mind as they begin the driving operation. That what we take for granted as a mundane, uneventful experience can quickly escalate into tragedy when distractions occur. The VTTI study final report recommended the following driver behaviors based on its findings. One, Driving is a visual task and non-driving activities that draw the driver's eyes away from the roadway, such as texting and dialing, should always be avoided. Two, texting should be banned for all drivers in moving vehicles. Three, headset cell phone use is not substantially safer than handheld use because the primary risk in both tasks is answering, dialing, and other functions that require the driver's eyes to be off the road. In contrast, true hands-free phone use, such as voice-activated systems, are less risky if they're designed so that drivers do not have to take their eyes off the road often or for long periods. Four, all newly licensed teen drivers should be prohibited from using cell phones while driving. VTTI research has shown that teens tend to engage in cell phone tasks much more frequently and in much riskier situations than adults. In fact, studies indicate that teens are four times more likely to get into a distraction-related crash or a near-crash event than their adult counterparts. I'm on my way. The VTTI recommendations and the practices we've outlined here can be incorporated into a distracted driving policy for motor carriers company fleets, government agencies, and others that are recommended for use by individual drivers as guidelines for safe driving. The course materials available with this video include sample distracted driving policies. It's important to note, however, that the VTTI study has one significant recommendation most traffic safety organizations disagree with, and that is cell phone conversations. Several major traffic safety organizations recommend a policy that prohibits cell phone conversations due to the cognitive distraction it causes, including hands-free or voice-activated cell phone use. 
while the VTTI research demonstrates that a voice-activated cell phone minimizes the visual and manual distractions associated with dialing and answering, the best practice is simply to avoid all cell phone conversations while driving. This policy may be the only sure way to ensure safe vehicle operation, and in the future, may be the only legal alternative in some states and jurisdictions. To reduce the risk of a crash caused by visual, manual, or cognitive distractions, keep these safe driving tips in mind. Adjust mirrors and the light level on the instrument panel before pulling into the traffic flow. If you're hungry, pull off the road and park the vehicle before eating or drinking. Get directions or program your GPS before entering traffic. Turn off your cell phone or put it on mute before entering traffic and let calls go to voicemail. Never text or email while driving. Perform short, frequent scans of mirrors and instruments, but always keep the road ahead and the driving task as your primary focus. If you follow these tips to minimize distractions, you greatly improve your chances for a safe trip. We have discussed the dangers of distracted driving and the fact that risky behavior such as texting while driving is a significant factor in traffic crashes. Best practices require that drivers focus only on driving related tasks and limit glances away from the road to less than one second. These practices will assist you in safely delivering your load, whether it's freight, passengers, groceries for your family, or precious cargo that needs no description. Do your part to reduce driving while distracted and help us save lives.